golf balls are said to be dimpled to reduce drag. If that's true, why aren't aeroplanes dimpled? So the nature of flow around objects is a fairly complicated topic, and the first thing you have to understand is how it changes based on the viscosity, thickness, of the fluid, which is air in this case the speed of the flow, or the object, the approximate scale of the object these three quantities combine to one dimensionless number known as the Reynolds number which is a good indication of the kind of flow patterns you're likely to see. The Reynolds number is the speed multiplied by the length scale divided by the viscosity, and tells you approximately the ratio of inertial to viscous forces experienced by the flow. More inertial forces equals higher Reynolds number equals more turbulent flow. Large objects moving quickly through thin fluids have large Reynolds numbers, and small objects moving slowly through thick fluids have small Reynolds numbers. In the case of the golf ball and the airplane, while the fluids are the same, the length scales and the speeds aren't. Golf balls experience Reynolds numbers up to about 100,000 while airplanes up to 20 million or so. Now, both of these are in the turbulent flow regime, which begins around 2,000 to 5,000 most of the time, but there's no question that airplanes experience vastly different flow characteristics than golf balls do. In particular, golf balls are below the drag crisis point and airplanes are above it. An analysis by Comsol shows the effect of dimples in a sphere for various flow regimes, also taking into account spin, in fact, and this chart in particular shows regimes very clearly. Around the drag crisis point, dimples become detrimental. Edit. See this comment for more detail. From a historical perspective, golf balls were originally dimpled because early golfers realized that their older, scuffed golf balls traveled straighter than their new, smooth golf balls. So they started intentionally scuffing up their new golf balls before playing around to increase the accuracy of their shots. Add in a bit of time and innovation, and the dimpled golf ball was born. Not so much for extra distance, but because it flew so much straighter and more predictably than the old undimpled golf balls.